Hello, beautiful, brilliant black women, goddess born all. I hope you are doing well, and I hope you are holding yourselves, daughters, granddaughters, and goddess, daughters, and nieces, uplifted, held sacred, and protected. So, welcome. This is going to be a three-part series on... Um, some concealed carry concerns that I hear from black women uh, often, okay? And as as Miss D, Deanne uh, Matthews has said, she actually has a video up where she is talking about what you are going to need to decide um, considering how we are being unalived, how we are being attacked, how we can't say no without um, black men escalating from name calling and belligerence all the way to assault and battery. Um, that we can't walk uh, past them without having to smile at them or acknowledge them in some way. Or again, they get belligerent, call us out of our names, and then they escalate beyond even that. Because that too is violence. They escalate beyond that. And then they then they become physically violent. Um, so we all know the stats. And we're going to have to put a stop to it as black women. Okay? So... Um, Ms. Deanne Matthews, she actually has two other things that you can think about besides concealed carry. That's just one of the things she's like, okay, they're pro she's doing pros and cons. Um, so I would love for you to watch that video. Um, I am going to put it in the uh, comments, right, for, um, for us. Um, okay, uh, I'll Oh, I'll have to remember the jack. <laughs> but I definitely, got, you know, her. Okay, that's her name right there. <laughs> D.M. Matthew, she does grown, grown, grown black folks talks. And she does on the climb. So we're going to check her out. Because um, she's honestly one of my favorite people, right? And I love the way she comes at it as well although we're, we're both very different women and we both have different approaches to things the bottom line is we want black women to be held sacred protected and uplifted she's empty by the way in fact i got dry caps in her and okay so, if I'm pulling from my purse, it depends on the purse. Some purses are made for weapons carry, so they'll be here and you come out of the side. Some are not, and you can make them into. So, if I'm coming straight up, it's a different type of draw, but the, but the end result should be the same. And I still have to come up under the beaver tail. Notice again that my finger is not on the trigger because I am not shooting. Um, just for your edification. Also, caps. And I haven't... Um, I didn't put a cap in. As a part of learning about concealed carry, it is important to me as a particular type of goddess, I am a goddess born warrior and healer to make sure that I do my part to study, to preserve our great history as black women and black girls and to reveal that history to us when others try to tell us we are nothing and most black girls are goddess born and they are usually empaths and healer born 
we generally have many different types of power. So as a goddess born warrior, I understand that I have to understand history. I have to be able to study myself and do my best to keep us in a state of peace. We only go to war to protect the innocent. So remember now, as we're talking about concealed carry, I am not an expert. And you do need an expert to train you. There are certified instructors. You can look for ranges in your area. But I just want you to know, too, that you can be hecka cute. And as we go through this little three or four part series, I haven't decided yet. <laughs> I am going to show you some of how I train, um, but I'm also going to show you diverse outfits. Always be safe. Make sure that you check your weapons before you're going to clean them and they don't have any live rounds or magazines. And um, You also want to make sure that when you are aiming at something that that you mean to um, pew pew it we keep our finger off the trigger until we're ready to actually pew pew okay so those are just some safety measures but again you're following me on my journey and you know i thought ooh, let's wear red because a lot of times like i said in the beginning um, one of the main problems for us as black women is that we like to look cute, girl. And you don't have to be wearing jeans and a t-shirt all the time to conceal carry. As you can see, I not only have my grip and I am checking my sides, but I had this in a purse and it was cute. That's my shoes, girl. Now, let's step outside for a bit so that you can see me in some of my practice gear. As you see, I actually have on um, both of my concealed carry. Uh, one is smaller because I am training to be able to carry both. So you'll see one right there, which is a 9M, and, then, and my side piece is a Ruger. As a goddess born warrior, I understand that we are not all warriors with those capabilities. And while we train in um, history, society, religions, and weapons, and strategies, and tactics, that doesn't mean that we are mere soldiers. And just like CPR, and learning how to do CPR does not make you a nurse. It just means you can save maybe someone's life. Um, so I hope to see you in part two. I love y'all.